Hello, my name is Rodrigo Quijano. I'm Santiago González. And I'm Enrique Garcia. And today we will show you how to solve two problems. This is our math project from for partial one. Calculus two. Okay, so the first problem is the total stopping distance t of a vehicle is equal, the formula is equal to 2.5x plus 0.5x squared. And in the number a, we need to give the change in the stopping distance as speed changes from x equals 25 to x equals 26 miles per hour. So the first thing we need to do to get the, the change is get t with 26 because it's the x2 which will be 20 2.5 20 times 26 plus 0 0.5 times 26 squared and then that will be subtracted with t 25 because it 25 is, is x1 so it will be 2.5 20 times 25 plus 0 0.5 times 25 squared and when we subtract this both of these we get that the change is 28 so in letter B, we need to find the percentage of the change. So what we did was uh, the formula, that is T, with 26 as a value, minus T as 25 as a value, and that over the formula with 25 as a value. So when we do that, that is this equation over this equation, uh, we get 28 over 375 and we, when we divide that and multiply it by 100 it gives us 7.467 and we have to multiply by 100 to give the percentage now in problem number C we need to get approximate we need to approximate the change and percent change in total stopping distance as speed changes from x25 to x26 miles per hour so in the first part of this problem, we need to get the derivative of t. And to get the derivative of t, we need to first, in 2.5x, we need to subtract the, the exponent of x, that is 1, minus 1, and it will give you, give you 0. And x to the power of 0 equals 1. So in this term is only 2.5, plus 0.5x to the power of 2. And in this problem, in this part, to get a derivative, first we need to bring down number 2. And number 2 times 0 0.5, it will give us 1. And the exponent, which is 2, we need to subtract it by 1. So it will give us, in this term, the derivative, it will only be x, because x to the power of 1 is x. So the derivative of this is 2.5 plus x. And so we need to substitute 25 with x to continue. So the first answer is 27.5. Now for the next part, to get the percent change, we need to get the derivative of t, which is this. I substitute it with 25. And here you can see, we, it's, we divide all that with 25 and at the end multiply it by 100 so it will give us the percent of 110 after anal analyzing our problem we can see that the percentage is telling us about that there is a big increment in part c which is 7 percent and there is even a larger increment in the problem c which is telling us there is 110 percent now we will pass to the next question. Okay, so this is problem number 13, and we need to integrate by substitution this, this problem. The problem is 18x squared minus 12 times 2x minus x cubed to the power of 7. The first thing we need to analyze in this problem is to get the the term with the 
bigger exponent, which will be 2x minus x cubed, because x cubed is bigger than x squared. So our u will be 2x minus x cubed, x cubed, and our du will be 2 minus 3x squared, which is the derivative of this term. So then we substitute dx with our du, and we replace our u term with just a u, then we take out the negative 6, so we can cancel the like terms, and after that, finally, we just implement, add one value to the exponent, and just like the exponent, we added the denominator. Finally, we implement u, and as you can see, we simplified, therefore, our answer is negative 3 fourths, parenthesis 2x, negative x cubed to the power of 8 plus c. Thank you.